Well, you're just as weak as your friends. Oh shit, there's two of them! <laughs> All right, we are back in Outward with our homecoming hero, Jim. We are back in Berg after fleeing the Hallowed Marsh. We tried to get the Giants to agree to an alliance, and after they sent us on a suicide mission, uh, we answered a couple of their uh, questions uh, in a manner that was not to their liking, and they decided, that's it, no more discussions, it's over. You can come visit us if you like, but we're never going to help you. <laughs> so so we're back in Berg, uh, which has been awesome because we were getting our butts kicked across the Hallowed Marsh, and it was nice to come back and be able to two and three hit bandits and kill them. Um, we have a couple of days until the story progresses. Risa will have something for us to do in about three days to move the story forward. And so in the meantime, I think we're going to head out and we're going to try to find a particular lever. Uh, we went into a tree trunk uh, in the last episode. Uh, inside of that tree trunk was a gate that we could not pass. And it was mentioned in the comments that there is a lever somewhere in Berg. Uh, that will open that gate, and I, I have a, an idea of where that lever might be. It's, it's in one of two places. It's either right where you come into Cherisonese, or it's in the back entrance to Berg. But we'll check where you come into Cherisonese first. We gotta, we, you know, we're out for adventure. We've got a few days to kill. I may also stop and mess with some of these uh, alpha deer. Um, we're running a little low on jerky, and I like to have jerky at the ready as it heals you, and the alpha variant gives you rage, so of course they are not here. I was hoping there'd be a handful of uh, alpha deer here, but there are not. I suppose it's for the best. We can see a couple of bandits ahead. We'll definitely take care of them. Like I said, we're out to adventure. We'll get into the scuffles. We certainly got into the scuffles in the last episode. At the end of the episode, we found what I'm only assuming is a portal to a uh, dispensary of beast golems because we fought, I think, no less than five beast golems. Uh, all in quick succession while we were just trying to shop with the Caravaneer, where we got this awesome hat that we are never taking off. It gives us a stamina boost and a movement speed boost. So very happy about that. Uh, yeah, let's give you guys a little bit of everything. We'll drop this. And let's go for, uh, the machete guy first. Nope, can I? Yes. Oh. Stop it. Stop it. How do I don't hit me? Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh, okay. All right, I've been doing a dumb thing. I've been... I right, how do you block? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I've been switching back and forth from playing this game in Elden Ring, and oh my god, that is not advisable. I was just crouching instead of running. All right. You. Enough of you. Stop hitting me. There. Oh my goodness. In Elden Ring, you hold what would be the crouch button in this game to run... <laughs> <laughs> I just had like a full-on panic attack. Like, what's happening? <laughs> you better have something good. Oh, you do. Nice. We'll take that too. That's good for traps. Yeah, so hopefully we've cleared out the entire map of every single beast golem there ever was. Uh, which meant we also got to turn in our quest to the Kazite um, salesperson. I don't know what they are. Um, and they gave us, uh, you know, pretty much about what I expected. They gave us two elixirs was the great reward they promised us. So <laughs> we've got two elixirs now. Oh, the giant is back. Well, we're not going to mess with him. We are instead only going to mess with the deer. Fall down. Nope. Nope. Wrong button. Wrong button. Okay, there we go. <laughs> nope. Whoa, don't you do it. Get out of the way. Nice. Hit him one more time. Two more times. Dead. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Okay. All right, sir. Give me your meat. I don't think the female variant gives alpha quality meat. So we're not going to get that. But I am going to look for a bug in here. No bugs. You know, I also brought... You know, we got fire potions. Maybe we'll take on this ghost. I brought a bunch of um, elixir as you coat your... What are these things called? Spiritual Varnish. I brought a bunch of Spiritual Varnish in case we go out the backside of Berg. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of ghosts out there. Um, but I do believe fire also messes with ghosts. Oh, no. More than I want to fight this ghost, I want to fight this deer. So we're going to do that instead.
No! <laughs> oh! You got me. You got me good, too. No, 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 no! Oh, shit. Alright, pal. I get it. You're angry. It's okay. Nice. Almost. I wanted to destabilize him. Come on. There you go. Beautiful. All right. Now I think we have enough to make jerky, too. Hmm. Didn't do much damage to him. Nope. Dive, 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 dive. Hmm, not so bad. Man, I gotta get used to these buttons. Come along now, take a swing. There we go. Ah, oh, shit! Wrong button! Okay, here we go. Nope, wrong button. Do it! Nice. There it is. All right. The Dolmen Crypt. I think that's where I gotta go. I just wanna see, I wanna see a windmill first. Right? Oh, the windmill was deeper in this side. It's probably over this. What the hell was that? Nothing. It's probably up there and I just can't see it. All right, well. We're at the Dolmen Crypt. Let's go inside the Dolmen Crypt. I mean, doesn't, nothing looks more lonely than this tower, so... Alright, yeah, and there's the other one, right? No, uh, what if it's in that one? I don't know. I don't think this is it, but we're going in anyway. We're going in anyway. I may have to use all of my spiritual varnish here, because... If any place is going to be filled with ghosts, it's going to be this place. We'll go buy or make more if we have to. There's a ghost, and I don't know what that is. I have yet to encounter whatever that thing is. Or maybe we did once already. Like, perhaps in the Tonosaur Cave, and it did a real big number on me. I can't lock onto it. Yes, I can. Oh, there's so many ghosts in here! This is... I have no idea where I am. I've never been in here. Do I deal with him? I mean, I'm gonna be forced to in a second. I don't want to draw the ire of whatever that thing is. Alright, we're going to put the varnish in our pocket because we're going to have to deal with this guy right now. Ah, oh, shit, there's two of them. Alright, we're definitely dealing with this. Whoops. Stop it. Alright, we're definitely going to have to deal with at least one of these guys, if not both. Man, this stuff works a lot better. Shit. Go, he... Whatever that thing was, it hit me. Let's... Nope, that's not how you dive. Stop it with the Elder Scroll. <laughs> Elder... Elden Ring key commands. Hit him! Do the thing! There we go. There, now you're dead. All right, now we gotta go face this thing. I gotta- I'm kind of on a ticking clock here. I gotta do it while I still got this stuff, so. I'm gonna take all your stuff. Ma'am. Okay. I'm learning a lesson. Do not switch between similar- Damn it. Uh, do you think he gets hurt by ghost stuff? Well, there's only one way to find out, huh? Oh, shit. No, he barely gets hurt by anything. Oh, that stuff is homing? Alright. Stop with your homing... hits. God! Hit him more! Come on, Jim! 
Hit him! Alright, what is this thing? An arcane elemental. Oh, boy. Alright, let's grab our bag. Oh, I see a lever. I wonder if that's the right lever. What the hell was I thinking? Let's flip this lever. Alright, that's gotta be it. Is there another lever? I feel like there's, like... I don't know. What the hell do I know? All right, out we go. I guess we go check to see if that is the right lever indeed. Okay, yeah, we are for sure going to go the other way around the river, around this lake thing. Lake? River? Eh, lake. And circling the lake, we should find our destination, which is that tree trunk. And we'll see what's inside. All right, I think it was told it was uh, Merton's Fire Poker, which makes me... I, I've been toying with the idea of doing just a dumb, just a dumb short <laughs> playthrough, maybe after this is done. I mean, I'm still going to do the the live stream uh, series of a magic run through is coming. I've just been getting acclimated to live streaming and um, messing around with Outward a little bit more. So I kind of know what I'm doing. So it's not me completely flailing about, but uh, it'd be fun to do a Merton run on hardcore. Like, whatever happens, happens. Just take Merton out, get his skeleton from Chierzo, get his, uh, his poker from Berg, and, like, no nothing else. You can have a backpack and that's it. And any, like, potions and whatever. I'm sure someone's already done that, but I also feel like there should be a special achievement for doing that, like, if you beat the game with Merton alone. I'm sure there isn't, or we would have heard about it by now, but it'd be fun to try on hardcore. If he dies, he dies. All right, in we go. I should be fine. Everything should stay dead. We were just here. Oh. God damn it, game. Stop that. <laughs> Jeez. All right, I already flew through the lever. We're walking in cautiously. Seems okay. Crystal powder and ghost plants. Nice. And Merton's Fire Poker. Oh, and some Mana Stone? Hmm. Is that supposed to be Merton? I mean, I guess we get his body in Cheers, though, so... I suppose not. Is that all that's in here? Alright, out we go. Let's have a look at this Fire Poker. Does fire damage? It's pretty fast. Not very durable. More durable than the Living Wood Axe. You know, I may hold on to... Merton's Fire Poker and toss it in the Legacy Chest. I don't know if it has a Legacy, like, upgrade. The stuff you toss in the Legacy Chest usually gets, like, some better benefit. And... Whack! Nope, dive out of the way. Ah! I unblocked and didn't get out of the way. Oh, I killed his partner. Ooh. You are very lucky, my friend. Nice. All right. We are running a little on the tired side. But we can fix that. All right, we'll take on this guy, too. I'm going to run, even though I'm burning stamina. I'd like to get him poisoned, if possible. Depending on the kind of time I have. Damn it! I never timed that correctly. Nice. Oh, Jim, look how tired you are. <laughs> poor, poor Jim. All right, we've got a couple hours until Risa is willing to talk to us. Uh, so we are going to um, head out the back and just see what's going on out here. So let's talk to this guy first. Can I talk to you? Oh, I can. Move along, bum. This is private property. I'm one of Sorobor's top financiers. And unless you're a chamber lord or someone with priceless artifacts for sale, I have nothing to say for you. All right, farewell. Not going to say anything mean to him. He may be important later. He's one of the few people we can talk to around here. All right, I think there is, like, a Mother Danger Muppet, which I still don't know what those friggin' things are called. I keep forgetting to check before I loot them. 
but I think there's like a giant tentacle-eyed monster out here. So we will maybe go see how hard that thing hits. That could be a giant mistake, but you know, you only live once. Ooh, there are bandits. All right, well, let's jump in this hole. Do one of Jim's patented flips. And uh, let's get ready for these guys. Oh, frig. Don't you do it. Oh, I did get him. Nice. Nope. Nice. Now you are dead. All right, maybe I was thinking of somewhere else because I thought there was like a giant purple monster out and about here somewhere, but I suppose not. There is a ghost of some kind. We will, um, we got plenty of, uh, elixir or whatever the hell it's called. Why do I keep forgetting the name of this thing? Varnish. Spiritual Varnish. That should be the easiest name to remember. All right. We're gonna go deal with him. Let us... Can you make a ghost trap? Is that a thing that exists? I don't know. All right. Varnish it up. Yeah, sure. Let's get some stamina. Whoa! Why is my stamina? Oh, I forgot to do anything about my burnt stamina. Whoops. Left the house in a rush. This is what happens. I don't even have any teas. All right, whatever. I'm wasting time. Oh, you look tough, my friend. Oh, I missed him. Stop it. Keeps moving. Nope. Nope. Dive, dive, dive! Oh. There, now you're dead. Oh, and we are tired. <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Well, hey, sometimes adventurers make mistakes. All right, let's go see what this door is before we try to take on this ghost, because if there's ghosts in there, I'll save my varnish for that. And whatever with this guy. We can get past him without him noticing. It seems like we did an okay job. Oh, I know where we are. This is in. This is under the. If that's what this is, this room. This is underneath the, the blue chamber, which we've cleared out already. But it's probably respawned everything, right? We got to get back to reset anyway. Maybe we'll fight our way through here. Yeah, if you can do it in reverse, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out, I suppose. Why am I not affecting you in any way whatsoever? There, die. Uh, there's like a mantis up there that I don't want to deal with. I don't want to step too close because there's like a heavy duty dude in there. Alright. Oh, screw you. I think I hear him. Oh. There. Well, you're dead. We'll see if we can encourage him to come hang out. You're in here, right? Yes, you are. Hopefully this is enough to knock him over. You got one more. Oh, you hit them all. I did not realize that. Alright. Man, you got some stability. Oh, but you're dead. <laughs> Oh, and more cartoon key is required. Damn it. What do I have? Oh, it was in my backpack. I did this last time, too. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Can't do that. Don't have rage. That's okay. Nice. Up we go to the assassin bug, I believe, right? Yes, we'll drop our bag right here and deal with him. Do it! They are highly unstable for having six legs. Damn it! No! One die, one die. Good. Okay, he's dead. One's dead. Woo!
You want to do something? You do. No. Okay, you're both dead. I do not like the noise you guys make when you die. <laughs> Gross. Alright, hopefully I can get out this way. I don't think I can. I may have to go back the way I came. Yeah, I gotta go back the way I came. I can't get out. The door does not open from here. Alright. What is that? Can I mine that? No. All right, well, at least we know when we come back, Risa will definitely be ready for us. <laughs> it's unfortunate you guys can't uh, just pop that door for me. All right, Jim, you made it. Barely. <laughs> All right. I don't know how much of that I cut, but I assumed we had an entire day to wait until Risa was ready. Got myself halfway across Berg, and we got the message that we completed, air quotes, completed a bunch of quests. It looks like we failed the Levant quest and the white-clad pilgrim quest where we had to find the guy on the pilgrim road. Those are marked as completed now. And it said Risa is ready to talk to us. So we're gonna go see what she has to say, and wherever she has to send us, we will, uh, we'll start that process, that leg of the journey today. All right, Risa. What's up? There- are you kidding me? There you are? I've been in town this whole time, lady. All right, Risa Aberdeen says, There you are. I was hoping you'd return soon. Lady, you've been watching me run back and forth. Hmm, all right. You've been a great help to us, Jim. I had a feeling I'd be making you this offer. What else? I'm going to come right out with it. I need you to join the Cryptea. The what? <laughs> you have not heard of us? All right, good. Then we've been doing our job. <laughs> I'm sure that even if you've heard of us, you'll have misconceptions about who we are and what we do. When the Collective was first formed, some of us wanted to ensure that detailed records were kept of everything we did, more than simple paper could cover. Thus, we enshrined the memories of several of our members into an altar, creating the Ancestral Memories. We've been adding to it ever since. This is a collection of memories. Oh, this collection of memories is the heart and soul of the Collective. It's how we've governed and guided our people for centuries. Then, one of our members betrayed us. She became a lich by devouring the memories of her ancestors. By anchoring her life to each of her descendants, she became immortal. You may know her as the Scarlet Lady. Jim says, the lich that supposedly fled the Scarlet Moon? Everyone's heard that fairy tale. I have? All right, Jim. <laughs> I assure you she is no fairy tale. If the Scarlet Lady were to gain control over the ancestral memories, it would be the end of the Collective. She could use them to guide her decisions as she pleased, or unleash a horde of undead on Enmerkar, or worse. We oppose the Scarlet Lady's efforts to control the Collective. We consult the ancestral memories regularly to find her potential descendants and deal with them. Uh, and you want me to join why exactly? The memories warned me that the Scarlet Lady is moving against us but most of our members are tied up with the war, and I cannot reach out to them for help. All I have are Gabriella and Julius right now. I need new members. Members, you say? Sounds like you have more than just me in mind. Yes, I've already asked Roland? What? He has agreed as L Roland. The, the complete incompetent who was like afraid to go outside? All right. All right. As long as he remains with the Cryptea, I will make his blood price payments for him. He could not refuse. No, I don't see how he could. He lacks any way to pay the blood price on his own. I know how to use my assets, Jim. <laughs> Roland feels he has nothing to lose. I would be a fool not to leverage that. Hmm, lady. All right, so I'm getting this feeling we've been leveraged pretty hard, huh? I know this is sudden and that you might have doubts. I won't force you to remain with us afterwards as long as you keep our secrets. Really? I'm sure I'll be killed if I don't stay with you. But I desperately need help. The Collective depends on us. Protecting people from an undead lich? I accept. I knew my faith in you was well-placed. I hope you continue to prove helpful to us. I've already sent Roland to the Conflux Mountain in Cherisonese to open himself to mana. I'm honestly worried if he'll be able to handle the journey. I need you to meet him inside there and keep him safe until he can open us, open up his magical potential. If you haven't already unlocked the power of mana within you, now is a good time. If you choose to remain a member of the Cryptea, Gaining the power of magic will make communing with the ancestral memories much easier. 
Once you've finished helping Roland at the Conflux Mountain, report to Gabriella Sullivan. She will direct your efforts to counter this crisis. Do whatever she asks of you. Ah. <sighs> All right. All right, we're going to talk to Gabriella first and see what she has to say. Greetings, I hope you're well. All right, lady. You know what? Whatever, lady. Okay. We're off to Cherisonese. One more time. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to... I'm sure it's going to be fine in Cherisonese. We've been gone for so long. But just to be safe, I'm going to swap out to the big bag. Toss our fur inside. All right. Off to the Conflux Mountain we go. That's very interesting. We have avoided magic. I suppose we'll take at least a little bit of it so that we can commune with the ancestral memories. And also, I swear with this game, just dropping like whole new complex plots on us. <laughs> just like, all right. All right, off we go to Cherisonese. I think we're going to run all the way to Chierzo and circle back out to the mountain. Because if I don't need this on me, we're going to drop this off and we're going to make sure... No, if I have the Coil Lantern... If I have the Coil Lantern, I definitely gave the Coil to the guy. All right, we might go right into the mountain. I don't think I need to stop back home. Yeah, I think we're going to go straight into the mountain. I don't think there's a reason to go to Chierzo because if I have this Coil Lantern, I 100% completed that dirty water mission. I'm honestly surprised we didn't get set to, sent to Levant this round. Because we've been sort of sent back to Chierzo twice already. And sent to the Hallowed Marsh once. I figured this would be the round we were sent to Levant. Which I was really curious about. Uh, fuck. What's it say? It says neutral. Is it going to start to fade or is it going to actually turn cold? Alright, I guess the weather is uh, fading. That's good. The cold weather, the snow is still here, but I suppose it will start to turn green as we travel through the land. We'll keep an eye on our temperature, though. But that's really good. That means we do not need uh, our fur on us. You know, I have never made a good, meaningful attempt at fighting these guys. I was playing co-op once with somebody, and we bumped into one of those, like, right at the beginning of the game. You see him on the beach. And I was like... We were both like, oh, let's go fight it. And, um... Fought it for two seconds and went, oh my goodness, never, ever again. <laughs> never again. And from that moment forward, I have ignored them. Or avoided them, rather. Maybe as Jim is uh, becoming a more formidable opponent, outfitted in gear, it may soon be time to test our strength against the Pistol Shrimp. Oh, I don't remember what which one's the Blue Chamber's path. Um, I'm going the ver somewhat easy route. And if we gotta backtrack to find Roland, so be it. Oh, we have some bandits, do we? Well... We can make some quick work of them. We'll drop our bag here. Get this ready. And... Get out of the way. Come on. Why don't you just die? Yeah, stop hitting me! <laughs> uh -huh. Now you're dead. Alright. Got a little overwhelmed. But we made it nonetheless. Hopefully this is the blue chamber... Uh, entrance. Hmm. I never stopped to notice which entrance it was. I just kind of always go this way. <laughs> so I've gone the other ways a couple of times just to try them out, and my goodness. Rock mantises and all sorts of terrible things. Alright, what do we got? Heroic Kingdom. Which one would be the Blue Chamber one? I don't know. Alright, whatever. I'm going in this way. We'll fight our way to the top and come back out if we have to. Or will that destroy things if I do that? Ugh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if Roland's gonna die if we don't go in the right side. Like, is that a trick from the game of, like... There's another path on the mountain. And I think the one at the bottom of the mountain. We'll go up a little further. We'll find the right entrance. Uh, I wish I just remembered where it is. I don't want to go all the way down the mountain and around the outside to find out that that's, like... I don't know. Something else. <laughs> I feel like all the the entrances except for the Heroic Kingdom. And even that sucked. <laughs> but they're all, like, kind of really tough. Whatever, we'll see. Oh my god, these guys are back? 
the hell? I just killed you. Literally just killed you. Oh, it's two different guys. All right. One dead. You. You. Oh. Do it. Nah. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Bro. <laughs> Hopefully there's a door here. Yes, and it's blue. That's perfect. Awesome. All right. In we go. Okay, there's somebody there. I can't lock onto him, so hopefully it's safe. I hear tons of footsteps. Conflux Mountain Guard. Welcome. This is the path to the Cherisonese Ley Line that the Blue Chamber Collective maintains. If you seek the power of magic, make your way through it to the end and speak with the Watchers at the heart of the mountain. Uh, I'm looking for someone who came this way. He's a Tramontane man. Kind of clumsy. Yes, he was just here about a moment ago. The damn fool took a wrong turn to the left almost immediately without even his sword, sword drawn. There's a damn rock mantis nest that way, and he blundered right towards it. I can only hope he's less careless than he looks, or he might already be that thinks dinner. Oh boy, I'm hearing bad things. An immediate turn to the, a wrong turn to the left. Roland. Oh my god, this is a complete fucking maze. I'm never finding Roland and I'm already lost. <laughs> oh my god, I wasted this fire potion. Oh shit, okay. Alright, whoops. Can I uh, pop this out? No, I can't. Oh my god. Let me drop this. I don't want to lose it. We're gonna drop it. Alright, here we go. Oh shit, I don't have my rage boon. Whoops. And I can't get it either. Whoops. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna deal with them. Ah, fuck. Nice. Alright, one down. <laughs> oh, shit! What does he do? I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Well, you're just as weak as your friends. Oh shit, there's two of them! <laughs> no, don't hit me! Well, you're even weaker. Alright, well I took a few hits, but that's okay. Okay, I cannot stress to you how- Oh, a mushroom shield. Wonder if Harold and Turnbull will take two. Did we already try that? I don't know. Alright. I cannot stress to you how completely lost I am. So... That's gonna be good. I quite literally have no idea where I am. <laughs> oh, that's the way I came. All right, good. So I think he said he immediately took a turn to the left, right? That's what he said. And I went and looked here. And this is where the mantis was, so maybe he's over here? Oh, there he is. Hold on. Let's just be careful. The guy said nest. All right. Roland! Who? What? Oh, Jim! That was you who saved me, thank you. I really owe you one, that rock mantis really had me. You're injured, hang on, let me patch that up. I have some bandages on me, I can handle it myself, you keep going. Whoa, 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 I'm coming with you, I don't want to have to bail you out again. No, if I'm gonna do this, I need to try to make it on my own. Give me a few minutes head start to get to the heart, heart of the mountain, okay? Sure. Oh man, I don't wanna, can we go, I can't get back out either. I'm like, I wanna go the other way because I know how to do that way. Oh boy. All right. I have no idea. <laughs> oh boy. I guess let's follow these uh, blue flags. Maybe that's uh, meant to help us. Do we go down? I feel like up would be the right answer to get to the top of a mountain. Dead. Didn't even need to take off my backpack. Is down the only answer? Ooh, there's something very much worth looting down there. All right, we'll take on this guy. Let's uh, actually get our rage. Ah, shit! Fucking crap! Scare the shit out of me! Stop it! There. All right, give me my rage. Give me my stability or whatever this is called. Don't you shoot things at me? 
Man, that thing scared the shit out of me when it came up behind me. Do it! Alright, where's the next one? Come on, pal. I'm gonna take care of you, too. Beautiful. Very nice. Regular mushroom. Oh, fuck! It's that thing! Ah, shit. Uh, what can I do to fight him? We'll try, um... We'll try flame. Hope. Hope for the best with flame. Shit. I hate these things. Alright, here we go. Yeah, shoot the thing at me. No, I hear a troglodyte coming at me. Ah, he hit me with something. Oh, look at me. I'm all messed up now. Alright, well, you're dead. For everything you've just done. All the ills that have befallen me because of... Where's my bag? Well, it seems that that elemental horror, or whatever the hell this thing's called, is, um... Uh, more sus... <sighs> More susceptible to elemental particle. All right. Seems like he was more susceptible to fire than he was to um, the spectral varnish that I had on last time. All right. I have no idea what way to go. Oh, boy. We'll go this way because I want to loot whatever this thing is. This feels like a mistake. Oh, nice. And we're going to check in here. This seems like... The oh, that's the right way to go. All right. Cool. Let's, uh, let's go up here and fight him up here. Howdy, friend. Do it. Oh, wait, why can't I do it? Oh, I don't have my rage boon. <laughs> Two hits. Nice. All right, onward. How long is this shit going to last? Another minute. Jesus. Two hits. Down. Grab the bag. We'll drop it out here. Where's the other guy? There he is. Dead. Oh, that door looks promising. Big money. Conflux Chambers, this has to be it. Hopefully Roland made it on his own, we shall see. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hello, fellas. It's the Fifth Watcher. Welcome. Bow your head in respect for you come to the end of a ley line. The place where the very world itself will pour its power into you if you make room for it. To open yourself to mana is to open yourself to the flow of our world. To use magic is to command the world to obey your desires. Master magic and you master the flow that echoes through us all. If you are prepared to sacrifice some of yourself for it, and you are prepared to miss many nights of sleep, we welcome you. May the power of mana lead you on the road to success. Oh, you know what? Does he teach the possessed boon if you don't take fire? Maybe we'll take the littlest bit of magic. We'll get the, um, I think it's possessed boon. And, uh, that'll be like a good use of our magic. There, we leave this on. We'll talk to Roland. Ooh, Roland, you got a magic sword there. You're not looking too good, Roland. Oh, a lot's name. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. I had no idea. The mana ritual is so painful. Oh, it takes your life force. Roland, exactly how much of your life did you sacrifice to tap into the Ley Line's mana? I don't know, I just kept pouring my life into the Ley Line as much as I could bear. I wanted it as much mana as I could take. You must have gained a ton of magical power. How does it feel? We're not going to call him an idiot, it's fine. I feel worn and empty, but also full of power. For the first time in my life, I can actually reshape my future. Well, good for you, Roland. I'm already able to use magic. See this sword? I made it myself out of my own mana. I can make a blade whenever I need one. That sword is made of mana? That's kind of impressive for a new mage. Do you know how to use it? Uh, it might be made of mana, but it's still a sword. The pointy, end, <laughs> the pointy end goes into the bad guys. How hard can it be to use it? All right, well, hey. Hey, Jim. While you're back here in Chairs and Ease, there's somewhere I want to go. I'd feel better if you came along. Sure. When we were kids, Yazan and I went into the starfish cave on the beach near Chierzo. I lost something there, something that belonged to my father. Sure, why not? It's not that far out of the way. Really? Thanks, Jim. It means a lot to me. The cave I'm talking about is the one right near... Yeah, I know where it is. Right near Cheers' back door on the beach where the tunnel from the storage tunnel comes out. Okay, cool. So, you have come. I sensed that someone who had the potential for magic was on their way. Yeah, you just... 
You just literally watched a guy deal his whole life force. <laughs> All right, I'm here. If you wish to gain magic, you must first give. You must sacrifice health and stamina to the ley line, and in return, what you give up will be given back to you as mana. Be careful how much of your health and stamina you give up, because once you have traded it for mana, you can never get it back. The first time you gain mana, you will gain your first spell, the spark. It may seem small and weak, but when combined with other spells or components, it can produce powerful effects. All right, we'll do it. I don't like the idea of losing any stamina, but... Oh my god, look how high my health is. We gotta go find the guy that deals stamina. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do that. Alright, done. Yes. Spark has been learned. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, fire sigil or reveal souls. What the fuck do souls do? Oh, I don't know. Uh, you know what? We're not gonna use the fire sigil. This just not happening. We don't have enough mana. I'm not going to be shooting fires and sparks and all sorts of stuff. So let's see what we'll find out what Reveal Souls does. There, I've learned Reveal Souls. Let's see what it does. Can I use it right now? Use. It does nothing. All right. Well, let's see what it says it does. Uh, reveal the bluish soul orb left by deceased thieves and adventurers. Interesting. So I guess if I can't find dead bodies, I can cast that and I'll know where they are. All right. Let's, uh, yeah, let's go talk to these guys. And then we will take the boat out of here. If the boat out of here puts us right by that cave, we'll go in today. Otherwise, we'll see if we could fight our way back to Chierzo. We'll probably take that on next time. Let's see, second watcher. Magic is a weapon of a patient warrior. You cannot charge into danger and unleash spells as you please. You must plan your attacks and bring enemies into a fight that is to your advantage. Never forget that spells must be used in the right combination. I want to train with you. I can teach you to gain mastery over the cold. A boon of cool will allow you to resist cold and frost. And increase the power of your own ice magic. Hmm, I could resist cold and frost. I mean, whatever. It's 50 silver, sure. Yes, I can already taste the Lux li Lichette. I don't know. So to cast a boon of cold, you pull any source of cold, pull in any source of cold around you. Cool has been learned. And that's how you generate the boon. It's very helpful while exploring the desert during the daylight. Fourth watcher, feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface when your business here is concluded. It will take you to the beach not far from Chierzo. I'd like to buy something from you. I'd like to sell something to you. All right, off we go back to the shore. And like I said, if this dumps us out right by that cave, we'll go in and see if we can find Roland. And that'll probably be where we call it. If not, we will fight our way back to Cherson's Cherzo. And we'll probably leave it there. Oh, no, it does not. <laughs> it leaves you... The guy was like, oh, it'll leave you very close to Cherzo. No, it left us right here. So we will, we will fight our way back. Oh, you know what? Did we ever fight this giant shield guy? I don't think so. I don't think I've, I've fought this guy yet. Even once, did we? I don't know. Maybe we did. We can fight him again. I just want you to get knocked down. And there it is. Do it! There it is. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, he died on his own. That was awesome. That was a very awkward death there, pal. All right, whilst we've got the um, poison going, we'll come out and take care of this guy, too. I don't want to burn too much of my- Oh, there's three of them. Shit. Whoops. Nope. Jump. Somebody come out here. Alright, one dead. Get out of the way. I'm getting hit every which way from Sunday. Let's get our health back. Oh. Good. Both dead. And one more. There we go. Oh, they're all dead. All right. We'll go get our bag. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to cast that um thing and see what the heck it does. Hmm. All right. Doesn't really... Can't, like, harvest that. I wonder if there's, like, another spell I could learn that's, like, consume soul or whatever and uh yeah we're gonna take on these guys even though we're a little bit low on health not super worried about it you ha <laughs> 
Ha ha, you didn't even get to finish your swing. Allow me to interrupt, my friend. All right, I do believe this is indeed it is the way to go, and we can get down this way. We can't get back up this way, but that's fine, because we're not intending to. Uh, what we may do is sleep here, where it's definitely safe. Roland, you better be in here. Oh, there's a fucking shrimp in here. Uh. Wait, Roland, what the fuck are you doing? Jesus Christ, Roland. Come on. I thought I was going to be able to run past. Alright, whatever. Here we go. I said I was going to try to fight one of these things. I guess we're doing it. What else do I got? Oh, I, I didn't want to do fire. I already have the poison. Shit. Alright. Okay, not so bad. Not so bad. <laughs> Alright. Less worried now. We can, uh, gather some blue sand. Rowan, you just hang tight in there, alright? Stop running off to do dumb stuff. Blue sand is worth good money, though. We won't be making... Blue sand armor, so I'm not hugely worried about that. So it just means it's really good money for us. Alright, good to know those guys are, um... Somewhat easily defeatable. Alright, you. God, I've made a terrible mistake. I gave up so much of my life to the ley line that my body is as frail as a spider web. I'll never shake this blood price. I'll never amount to anything. What are you going to do about it? Just wine or are you going to actually try? Yeah, come on, Roland. You got this. You're so powerful with magic. You just got to learn more. All right, Roland, get your chin up. There's always hope if you keep at it. I mean, look at us. We were an accountant turned hero. Oh, right, hope. The little carrot you dangle in front of a horse to make it keep going. Life's already beaten me with a damn stick. Why should I care about the stupid carrot? <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. So what was it we were looking for? It's my dad's old compass. Yazan and I took it when we were kids to run around outside. You can imagine how that ended up. Stupid shrimp would have killed us if it wasn't for that old gate warden saving us. That's all I have left to remember my dad by. Well, I can see why you'd come back. Thanks for helping me find it again, Jim. I won't forget this. I'm going to report to Gabriella once I caught my breath. I'll see you back in Berg, Jim. Man, you gave me dumb stuff, Roland. I'm not super happy about that. <laughs> Alright, it sounds like our, uh... Journal is taking us back to Berg. Let's have a peek here. Talk to Gabrielle in the city of Berg inside the Enmerkar Forest. Alright, that's definitely where we're gonna leave it. We managed to get some magic. We helped Roland numerous times. Oh my goodness. When we return, we'll probably stop in Chierzo for just a minute. Uh, to get ourselves prepared for the journey home, and then we'll head back to Berg and talk to Gabriella and see what she needs. We'll do that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Outward, and we'll see you next time.